Hi everyone, this is Mani from Taiwan. In this video, we are going to see why Taiwan is called as an island of technology and the heart of Asia. Before entering to the video, let's play a short interesting game. If I give this map and ask you to find Australia, Singapore, Malaysia, America and India, definitely you will find within a minute. But if I ask you to find Taiwan, most of the people will feel difficult to point it out immediately. Such a small country is Taiwan. The total area of Taiwan is 36,000 square kilometers. But it got developed in the wide array of tourism, diversity of traditional folk, rich in culture, modern arts and fantastic food. In short, Taiwan is beyond your expectation. In Tamil, we have a proverb like Kadugu Sirutalum Karam Kurayadu. Taiwan stands for that proverb because Taiwan is the Asia's fifth largest economic country and an exporter to the world. It exports $300 billion per annum and also many of us don't know that 85% of laptops sold in all world are made by Taiwanese companies such as HTC, Acer, Asus and MSI. And also the leading electronic manufacturer company like Foxconn is from Taiwan. Taiwan is ranked as 15th most competitive economic in this planet by World Economic Forum on 2017 which is higher than mainland China and other G20 countries. And the largest bicycle manufacturer like Giant Merida is also from Taiwan. Such an economical growth of Taiwan is only after the development of science-based industrial parks. There are three major science-based industrial parks in Taiwan. One is located in Sinchu, which is called as Northern Taiwan Science Park. The Central Taiwan Science Park centered in Taichung and the Southern Taiwan Science Park centered in Tainan. Sinchu Science Park focuses on semiconductor and optoelectronics, while Taichung Science Park focuses on semiconductor, optoelectronics, medical applications, precision machinery, and green energy. And uh, Tainan uh, Science Park focuses on semiconductor and optoelectronics, and also biomedical application and uh, green energy. Sinchu Science Park is the first and most influential science park of all science park which begins on 1980s. In 2003, Taichung Science Park was opened and then Tainan Science Park was opened recently. Currently, Sinchu Science Park spread over six more new locations which I am showing here and it is a home for more than 530 companies with 1,52,000 employees. And overall Taiwan has more than 1000 companies and even though there are many companies they still protect their nature. The video right now you are seeing is not a botanical garden, it is Sinchu Science Park. The main motto of this video is to break the myth that we all believe like if the country is developed in science and technology they might destroy their tradition and culture. But you can see both in Taiwan, like the development of science and technology and also they follow their tradition and cultures. The video running behind is to prove they still follow their tradition and cultures. Taiwan government equally balancing their development in science and technology and following and protecting their traditional and cultures. Like 16 indigenous tribes are still living in Taiwan and they are protected by their government. The government is running successfully because of their people responsibility. Because Taiwanese are humble, polite and they still follow their rules and regulations. They keep love their nature and protect their nature. Wherever you roam around Taiwan, you still see many trees and it will be more in, like it will be more greenish. It's because of people's responsibility for protecting their nature and loving their nature. That's why Taiwan government running successful like balancing their science and technology growth and uh, protecting their cultures. Hope you all enjoy this video. If you like it, please share to your friends. If I miss any important things, leave your comment in comment section. We'll meet you in another interesting video. Until then, bye from US Money. Bye bye.